Buenos dias, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 5KP Wednesday video. Tuesday should be, but it's Wednesday because I've been stuck in the bus yesterday, so we received the video one day later. Uh, welcome from the beautiful Ayampe. And uh, today program will be a little bit special. We'll again have this divided to two parts for YouTubers and for the Academy members. And we will focus on uranium <laughs> today, which is a uh, you know, interesting topic. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. And we look at the portfolio and do the standard kind of things. Okay, but before, of course, we go there. Uh, informational educational purposes only video. You know that. So if you see this for the first time, please read. And if you agree that, uh, you know, I'm not giving here any financial advice or any suggestions what you should be buying or selling. This is clearly just for uh, educational purposes only. Okay. So if you agree, let's move on. And that's the agenda for today. So for YouTubers, again, we'll do a portfolio performance. We'll look at the portfolio and in general, I'm going to just say what's going on there. We will review the trade that we've been talking about last week on WMT, Walmart, uh, broken wing butterfly. How did this perform? Should we close it? Should we keep it? Uh, and then go to the part with uh, for optionmindful.com uh, Academy members. Uh, and we talk about investing in uranium and I will mention two companies, Kameco and Kazatom Prom. Prom, Kazatom Prom, it's Kazakhstan uranium company. And I uh, talk about a URNM uh, ETF, which is, uh, you know, quite different to the most popular one, uh, which is URM, uh, uranium. Uh, I believe that this one is much better, uh, the URNM, the more popular fund, they put all kinds of garbage companies in there. This one is uh, much, much better, much more interesting. As you can see, Kazatom Pron and Kameko, the two top companies that I think are two top uh, uranium companies are actually included with a very high percentage in this fund, in this uh, ETF. So we'll see how we can trade that, how can we benefit and how does uranium perform in general, uranium miners perform in the stock market. And uh, probably find some interesting trade for this. So. Let's just move on. Uh, I'm going to switch immediately to what's going on with the markets first. Of course, we need to look and do the routine of looking at the markets. Uh, how S&P 500 performing? I'm just going to go to a uh, trading view, look at SPY. And as you can see, uh, not you cannot see now, now you can see. Uh, it's kind of like the predictions are coming true. Uh, I was analyzing actually ES, so futures. So we have some chart here, uh, I mean, some drawings here. You can see like this is kind of following the line that I drew like a week ago or more, maybe two. It's just moving sideways right now. And, uh, you know, looks like it's out of stamina, but I think it's just going to continue going up unless there is some major event. And as you can see, just you know, very predictable uh, casino uh, trading. Uh, I say casino because uh, yesterday, uh, you know, Janet Yellen came out and said something about possibility of raising interest rates. Uh, you know, uh, that it may happen, you know, to, to, you know, release some steam out of this inflation, which we start to see. And uh, obviously she can't do that. So today she came uh, back and she said, oh, well, uh, I want to, you know, uh, correct myself now and say that you know, no, no interest. No, no, this is probably not going to happen. And the market reacted like you can see here. It was a huge candle down on that announcement. And then, you know, announcement changed now to, she said something else. Now we have a candle up, you know, the green. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what, what I mean when I say we are trading in the casino environment. Like some people come out, say something, and then, you know, markets go down. So uh, VIX, as you can see, is up a little bit. So we've seen on that announcement, <laughs> jump to 22. Like this is what I also been telling you how fragile this market is. It's just like one little announcement and you go from VIX like 18 to 22. That's like a little bit crazy. You know, it's, it came down today, but it's still up to, compared to where we were purchasing our uh, insurance at. So uh, I think we've been at 16s, now we're in 19s. Um, VIX, so VIX on VIX up. So there is expectation that, you know, maybe there is some other announcement, some, somebody else talks about something else and then Again, VIX goes up, so we have, let's say, some fear that the fear may go <laughs> up and then the markets can uh, also go crazy uh, one or the other direction. 
so a uh, casino environment and if you look at the uh, briefing.com you know these guys stopped writing here <laughs> i mean they used to have so much more content and it kind of makes sense you know because it became a theater so they just tell you you know watch that strong sectors are energy information technology consumer discretionary weak are utilities and real estate well it's strong today i mean for me this is just all casino so uh, moving the market, I mean, probably it's a good good environment for day trading, but uh, you know, if you're trying to invest in this, really difficult to find companies which you know you can just see grow or move in a you know kind of rational way. So what's moving the market? Speaking on the move, mo uh, modest rebound in the growth stocks. Okay, Treasury Secretary Yellen walks back her comments on higher interest rates, and that's what's moving the market. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's really crazy. Um, okay, Forex factory. Let's look at the calendar. Uh, what's going on? Crude oil inventories today. Well, not no surprises there for sure. Let's go down and see if there is some announcement which can move really the market. Okay, I see that on euro in eurozone that Lagarde speaks, and you know what can they t what can they tell us? You know, uh, print more. Uh, I don't know, stimulate more. Uh, yeah, just more of the same. So no, I don't expect any revolutionary comments there, and that's why it's red, not red, but uh, orange box in here. Uh, employment numbers, unemployment numbers in Canada, and unemployment rates in US on Friday. Uh, well, will this move the market? I kind of already expect what's going to be, you know. And also this unemployment rates, uh, you know, the, the claims. You can see that people are. You know, there is every week this this is a weekly report every week 500,000 people apply for unemployment so but new for the first time so this is new people every week and you know markets are up <laughs> everything is great so uh, you see the the level of casino i'm i'm really uh, you know I, I have no words for this wednesday 12th cpi numbers so some people call this now cp lie instead of cpi and actually more and more people start calling this CP lie because this number reports, you know, you see, you see that this is just a joke, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, when you go to stores in the US, you know, people report bread prices going up by 11%, lumber is 300% up, you know, uh, food goes up in general, bacon goes up, you know, <laughs> all kinds of things go up in double digits percentage and this reports like single digit number like there is no inflation guys everything is great um, so I'm not watching that number anymore to just have a good understanding what's going on with the market and then on Friday you have some retail sales uh, this can also move the market yeah uh, we have more sales yes um, yeah but uh, all of this is just you know so I mean anything can move the market now so I'm really like I see the calendar but and there are some events like last week there was speech of Powell and so on it moved the market but to me it's like with our portfolio that we're having where we mostly in uh, gold silver and uranium stocks this doesn't make any difference um, Finvis let's have a quick look what's going on and like how the markets look today it's more bullish than bearish uh, day that's what this thing says not that's that's not what the charts say you see down down Nasdaq is a little bit up, uh, opened with a little, you know, higher, but now, now it's trading, you know, around you know, same same level as it closed yesterday. S and P, you know, moving sideways, kind of sideways. You've seen this on the chart. Uh, what else? Let's look at the oil. Oil is up, no surprise there. It's going to continue up, and I also told you, you know, why. Last video, we've been talking about hiding inflation in energy prices. So oil, oil is high okay therefore food must be high too because transportation because this that you know um, so energy to produce foods energy to produce lumber energy to produce anything you know we're using oil energy to dig stuff out of the ground oil so if you raise price of oil you know people will be thinking that that's the reason why we have higher prices while that's not really true it's just printing the digits and putting them you know on the market stealing the wealth of the people um, natural gas down a little bit, gold up a little bit, and you know things are moving sideways. These prices of gold and silver will 
are really, really manipulated. You can see that actually on the charts, for example, if I just go to back to uh, here, uh, trading view and I just load uh, SE. So that's silver futures on the COMEX. And I just take the continuous current contract and I just load five minutely. And you can see like this, this moves, this kind of moves, you know, what is this? Like that, that completely makes no sense. You know, that's uh, how many uh, red candles do you see here? Like, <laughs> um, while, you know, everything else goes up. Uh, so silver and gold are the ultimate stores of value and they are natural hedges against inflation. And you see, now we have the inflation, obviously, but these prices don't move. Uh, of course, that's part of the manipulation to not show that there is some inflation going on and to protect the banks. Bankers are short gold and silver, so uh, the community keeps fighting them, but it's going to take a while. Um, what else can I show, show you here? If you go to the news, you can probably read uh, a little bit more about uh, you know, what's going on with lumber. You know, futures record rally, 1.5K for the first time. You know, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the inflation. Okay. Uh, there was something about Yellen speaking and you know, changing her words you know, one day and then another day saying something else. So you see how the management is really working. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So uh, let's move on to portfolio. Let's not spend too much time on this because this is just pure theater. And let's just look how our portfolio is performing. Uh, and what you can see here, we moved from 7.2. Now we're 7.4 K uh, on this little tiny portfolio. Uh, and we're moving steadily 15 bucks a day <laughs> up. Plus we have some speculative trades. So today's profits are 350. Uh, you know, that's, that looks very nice. Now today's we're not in profits actually. Today we are negative 50, but uh, open positions are 350. Uh, overall year to date with 2.6K up. So we, we did kind of 50% return on investment. It's really nice. So uh, who's performing, who's not performing? We, you see that I'm mostly you know, in the mining companies. Uh, AG Silver, CCJ, that's Cameco, okay, it's Uranium, DNN Uranium, Silver, 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 Gold, uh, Gold, you know, Silver, Uranium, no, uh, next gen is, yeah, that's Uranium, uh, we store our income or whatever we make, our profit savings, we store in the PSLV, and this started also being profitable trade, which is really cool. We have our insurance, uh, okay, now it's kind of losing money, yeah, but uh, that's okay. That's what insurances do. Uh, you insure, you pay for insurance of your house and you don't mind if this money goes away. You just feel sleep wet better, right? Um, T, at and you know, uh, still cool trade. Again, uranium, this is a speculative trade. This is a speculative trade. So you see Walmart is actually doing quite good. Uh, it could be better. How many days do we still have? 16 days to expiry. I think we'll be closing this trade today because it's killing us in terms of theta and uh, negative 1.5, 1 buck per day on this trade. I don't like that 16 days. Uh, we'll look into that. So performance in general is very well. And uh, so I'm gonna go quickly and move towards the Walmart trade as I'm here. And that was part of the plan as well. So uh, let's go and have a look at analyze the chart and look at the, the chart itself. So Walmart, you can see now, okay, it's still like moving sideways here for a long time. I expected it to break out much earlier. It kind of did to, uh, you know, on Friday, uh, but uh, then it came back down uh, and today it's recovering, but very slowly it's trading 141 around right now. So sitting above 200 day moving average, about 20, above all moving average basically, and just waiting to fill that gap, but it takes its time. And time is our enemy in this trade. So uh, we could be playing this for another couple of days and see if it can move or just close this trade with a little win and start a new trade, you know, for another period of time. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, you see that move, we, you see that the gap was not yet filled. You see that we're sitting at 200 day moving average. And I think it can move still sideways a little bit. Uh, but at some point of time, it needs to fill that gap. So. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go and analyze that trade so you can see clearly in what kind of profits or losses are we now. So we are on 60 bucks up, 61 on this trade, not much, 
but the trade was 180 bucks. That, you know, that was 180 dollars trade, with a risk of 180 dollars. So we're kind of good, right? So it's 30% uh, return on investment, which is not so bad. You need to look at this from these numbers and also understanding that we're trading very small account in here. So uh, I could keep it, you know, if I kept it and it really moved towards one third 43 and so on, we would be, you know, 100% return on investment. But uh, I kind of don't know, you know, markets is moving down right now. Um, I would rather take the money and run, okay, and, uh, and then create a new trade right, right now. Basically the same cost of trade. Another butterfly for more days than 16. So uh, let's do that. Let's close this trade. Uh, I'm gonna go create closing order, close the butterfly, okay, just gonna sell it, and I'm gonna collect whatever I can collect. I'm just gonna offer a little bit less, 245. Confirm and send. Okay, that's that's my credit. Come back, this money will be available now to us. 251, fantastic. Uh, so now we have this 300 bucks available. I can do another 180 bucks trade on uh, Walmart. So let's do WMT. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to go to this 145. So uh, where are we now? 140. So let's do that trade. So uh, I'm gonna give it maybe this time 37 days. Let's see. And start with 141s. That's where we are right now. This is gonna be the contract that I'm buying. I'm going to sell 145s somewhere there. Uh, I think two. Uh, what? Uh -huh, I need to do this specially because I'm on a virtual machine. I think it's common out. One, two, two of these sold, and I'm gonna buy something around 148 for protective. Uh, let's see. That's going to be 80 bucks trade. Let's see if that makes sense or I need to adjust it. So buy, sell, buy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pay 80 bucks. Analyze this trade. What is this? This is some craziness. Uh, yeah, I closed that trade, guys. I closed it. That would be my butterfly. I kind of don't like it. Yeah. Um, cheap with potential nice return at 145, but uh, I would rather move that maybe to 147. And see how much I need to pay for this. I would like to make, if, in case you know Walmart explodes, I want I want that line to be really nice and steep going up towards you know profits as the Walmart goes up in price and very slowly down if it just goes down so this would be $100 trade um, for until June 11th our max profit would be 300 bucks on this at the cost of 100 so we can triple the money uh, or in the worst case double the money so if it goes up you know uh, too much we will double uh, perfect spot is triple and if we start losing you know I'm gonna get out of this trade but it's losing very slowly so it's 141s by 145s by 147 I could be even you know if I want to invest more cash in it but I don't 105 maybe that's what I can offer I'm gonna send that in and we're gonna be back in the game uh, of course now when the Walmart goes to 145 before okay let me just this. If, of course, we don't make too much cash if it just goes immediately to 145s, but I don't expect it to happen. Time will be working for us one buck at a day. Uh, and at that point of time, if we were here, one buck of theta, yeah, but uh, no, 50 cents. Okay, I maybe increase this a little bit. So let's do 144s and do this 146s, 145s. Can that work? No. It's not so cool. Let's do 145. That, that the one which was before. I think it's just the expiry date which is deciding here. So let's give it a little bit less time. 4th of June. And I'm going to have to pay for 141s, 147s. How come this is cheaper? Aha, because of course we have less time. But I have a higher theta. Uh, let's give it a month. All right. I think that's better. So now it's triple the money, faster theta. That's what I wanted to achieve. Double the money in case it goes too far. Uh, create duplicate order. And I'm going to send that in. It's going to be one, one buck for sure now. I can one for 110. Confirm and send. 112 total cost. Boom. Confirm. I have the currency, don't worry. 
don't worry about me too much. Let's see if it feels, and then we'll be back in the game. All right, so that would be it. Uh, I think this will fill in a while, and I'm gonna move on to the second part for the students of uh, optionmindful.com academy. So we're gonna go through the trades uh, one by one, and obviously analyze if something needs to be changed, uh, adjusted, and how the positions are performing, who are the biggest winners, and so on. So let's do that now. <laughs>